Good morning. Um, it's 10 to 6. In the whole eight days that we've been here, um, we haven't been up so early to actually stand in front of the gate. We have been standing here for around five minutes, so we're waiting to go out of Shinguechi Gate. Yeah, throughout the night there was a lot of activity. We heard lions and our hinas here from about three o'clock. So yeah, we wanted to go out early. It's our last full day in the Kruger. Um, we're driving all the way up to Kruger's Corner. So we've got quite a drive today. Yeah, and from there to Punda Maria. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then back to, to Punda Maria as well. So we hope that we get lucky with all this line activity throughout the night. Um, it sounded quite close to camp. So we'll see if we can find anything and then, yeah, we'll see you in the northern or the most north part of the Kruger Park. about halfway to Punda Maria we just passed the Babalala picnic spot and the Kruger is so misty um, it's so beautiful in terms of mist in the Kruger I don't think I've ever seen it this dense yeah it's really beautiful it's just got this mysterious vibe to it hopefully you can see it on the footage but man it's it's so beautiful So we just had an amazing sighting. We're about 10 kilometers north of Punda Maria and there was a cheetah that crossed the road. We missed that part, but then we followed, it looks like a female. We followed her for a couple of hundred meters. She was walking next to the road and there's the Mopani thickets here. So it is quite dense. We weren't able to get the best footage, but However, great sighting. I think this is the highest up that we've seen predators or big cats. So, yeah, awesome. And it just shows again the wildlife is everywhere inside of the Kruger.
Piet Pafuri. I'm gonna cross the Levuvu River. These bridges and the flora around here is just amazing. And now we can also do this. We stopped at Pafuri picnic site bordering the Levuvu River. This is one of the most beautiful picnic sites in the Kruger and is an absolute birding paradise. It is also home to a resident, very rare, Pals fishing owl. So we have just <clears throat> finished having breakfast here at the Pafuri picnic site and we're going to drive to Crook's Corners now and seeing that we are in birding paradise we thought it's time to answer the question that everyone has been asking between myself and Alana who is the best birder so let's see <laughs> So Alana says that she's at a bit of a disadvantage because the sun is shining in her eyes. So let's see how it affects her game. Oh, it's still pure. And just to clarify the rules, um, we've seen 65 species already in the past week. It's not as much as we wanted to, <clears throat> but we need to see new birds. So if you identify a new species we haven't seen this week, that's a point. Very simple. Stop. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Lots of elephants. Oops, they're coming our way. <coughs> Hello. Oh, African area walk. Yeah. So that's two zero. In the far northeastern corner of the Kruger Park, where the Levuvu and Nampopo rivers meet, lies Crook's Corner. This triangle of land is the meeting place of three countries, South Africa, Mozambique and Zimbabwe. Ok, 
Okay, so we are just here at Crook's Corner. Um, it's quite crowded. There's a lot of people here. So we're going to drive back towards the Pafuri picnic site. On our way here, the road to the fever tree forest was actually blocked by elephants. So we drove the S63. Yeah, so we drove the S63, which is um, parallel to this gravel road. Uh, but now we're going to drive from Crook's Corner through the fever tree forest and rumor has it or it's said that this is the most scenic route in the Kruger so yeah I can't wait to show you guys I remember we were here um, four years ago and it was absolutely beautiful this time it's a bit greener so mm. it, it, it might even be a bit better so let's hope that we see something we're doing the birding competition and of course I'm leading <laughs> <laughs> and yeah let's see if we can add more birds to the list The one thing that I can just say about these gravel roads here at Bafuri is that the amount of bird life here is it's almost overwhelming. Um, it's like as you drive you just hear birds left and right. It's it's all over the place. It's still very difficult finding them, but damn it it's it's all over the place. It's a bird watcher's paradise. Let's thank you. Oh, he's striped. Okay, so who's leading? Oh, I've got four. What's the score? Two, four. There. Starling. <laughs> Three, 
for? No, you can't get a point for stalling. <laughs> okay, so we've come to the end of the birding competition. I did very well, but the thing is the sun reflected into my eyes. <laughs> but we ended up on new species, six, which is not bad for like a two hour drive. I got two new and Alana was the winner with four new birds in total and this was in like a time frame of two three hours so what an awesome experience any time we'll come back to Punda Maria see if we can get more birds we clearly still have a lot to learn So we have arrived at our accommodation at Punta Maria. We're staying in the tented camps. We've stayed here before and I have to say personally I think this is my favorite or yeah well my favorite accommodation that I've stayed in in the Kruger Park. Let me show you why. basically a full tented camp it's got a shower little basin like a little dressing room area also got a toilet so everything is here in the tent it's got a nice fan for those hotter seasons and two single beds of course the favorite part of this accommodation is the patio the stoop area <clears throat> we've got a, like a bry here where you can actually bry underneath the canvas and a roof it's got a big space it's got an outside kitchen and a stove and some or well, basically just an area to relax as well i have to say previous time we were here we got a unit with a much better view some of them view to the southern side of the kruger which is overlooks the camping ground which enables you to see much further this one is a bit more remote, it's a bit more into the hills, but also it's a lot closer to the fence, so the view is smaller but the potential is greater. Can't wait to just relax here for the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> 